53 years ago, a European man drove his Land Rover into Ziwani. I am sure they called him Muzungu back then, just like we would today. He came with a sense of purpose. And for the homeless young boys, he had a message of hope. He stood on a stool like a pro biblical prophet and looked on at the crowd. On his right was a government worker, and on his left, an ex Mau Mau fighter. He spoke, and they translated. He said, I want to give hope and a future for bright and needy children. And thus, the Strehe Boys Center began. So today, as we celebrate our founder, the late Dr. Geoffrey William Griffin, fondly known to us as Boss, so too shall we celebrate the late Geoffrey Gatama Geturo and our remaining dad, Joseph Kamiro Gekubo. They say that the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. What started as two prefabricated huts has morphed into a remarkable institution of learning. We have tall buildings, sprawling grounds, a majestic chapel, an academic block like no other, science labs, dormitories, and a state-of-the-art library. It is from this humble beginnings that the great school we know today was started. Days that were defined by sacrifice, compassion, hard work, and a zeal that knew no bounds. A sacrifice that saw young Griffin forfeit his well-paying government job and give his life to secure the future of the young boys of Strehe. Hard work that saw Geturo travel across the country in search of bright but needy boys to bring to Strehe. A compassion and a zeal that drove Gikubo to manage the school like a professional schoolmaster, even though he had never attended school himself. It is, <laughs> it is this great deeds of this great men and many others that built this great school we see today. Charles Njonjo once said that Sterehe Boys Center has reversed the norm. What he was talking about was the fact that ordinarily, schools build their reputation by enrolling students from good families and later on enroll a few needy students. Sterehe, however, is a charitable educational institution designed to help that needy child. And this is what makes it special. The fact that its original vision and mission was to tap into and exploit the potential of every boy, irrespective of their background. Why it not for the dream of Griffin, many needy boys would not have the lives they have today. Through generations spanning 53 years, lives have been transformed, careers have been built, and dreams have been accomplished. Why it's not for Strehe, I dare say. Perhaps Honorable Peter Kenneth or Raphael Tuju would not be presidential candidates. <laughs> Maybe Paul Irang would never have won the gold at the Seoul Olympics. And just maybe my predecessor, the late Major Kinudia Murugu, would never have gone on to become the permanent secretary of youth and sports. But because of this great school, I am, you are, and we are what we are today. We owe it to our teachers for their dedication and passion. We owe it to the staff, drivers, cooks, cleaners, and watchmen whose keen eyes ensured we were safe. 
we owe a great deal to you, Mr. President, our patron for 43 years, who showed us unflinching love, felt our pain, and celebrated with us our successes. Thank you, Mr. President. In Strehe, we transformed from boys to men. We were bequeathed that which is priceless. We were given a heritage, a future, and a good name. Things that money can never buy. Things we should be eternally grateful for. And so today I stand in front of you and ask you, particularly the old boys, to give back. This is the point in my speech where I am required to cleverly and in a gentlemanly fashion appeal to you for money. <laughs> this is the point where I should use big words and catchy phrases to ask you to give back to an institution that gave you so much. But I only have a few minutes left, so I will say this. Rome was not built in a day. However, it took a very short while for it to collapse. What started 53 years ago from two metal hearts and transformed into this great institution could very easily crumble to the ground if we don't take ownership of this school. Dreams that could be will never be if we don't take ownership of this school. Starehe Boys Center is the responsibility of each and every one of us. We are moving into a digital age and we are now talking about e-learning and talking education to the next level. We are being cited as an example of academic excellence. We have a large organization like Safarico and the government of Kenya ready and willing to work with us on a project that will define the future of Kenyan education. Yet we don't have money. In a word, it is unacceptable. It is not my intention to stand here and castigate you or placate you. But as the chairman of the alumni, it behooves me to say this, that if we don't take ownership Sterehe will end up being nothing but a footnote in history. Be seated to stand up and take the charge. I charge you never to forget the great benefits you have received in this place and in time to come according to your means to do all that you can to enable others enjoy the same advantage and remember that you carry with you wherever you go the good name of Starehe. may God Almighty bless you in your ways and keep you in the knowledge of his love now and forever. Griffin, Geturo, and Gikubu played their part. Now you and I must play ours. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, the Old Starian Society Chair, Ronald Osumba with that very passionate plea to the old boys of the school.